to you who is in the chat early. I'm gonna be right back and go to the bathroom. What the fuck happened? What happened while I was gone? Oh wait, what? Okay, so hey Alton, hey homie, hey Swede, hey Doggo, hey Azazel, hey Logok, and hey Feeben. Uh, Feeben, thank you for the 1000 bits as soon as you arrived and so did Feeb, or... yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what the fuck, Feeben? Hey, hey, I'm here. We're gonna... We're gonna finish off the fucking game today. Oh yeah. <laughs> the fucking... You arrived and didn't even check if I was here. You just straight up dropped the 1000. Ay ay ay. You know it's a lot of people No, they be the hollow. Looks no looks. Cox could have. Ihan sama. Tee mitä haluut. Paljon mulla on näitä. 1400. Halo? Okei. Okay. <laughs> ihan, ihan kiva määrä tätä. Damageen. Näin syökkäyksis. Öö, mitä mä haluan levelaa? Tän? Range. Ei, eh, mikä ettei. Mulla on muu, mi mitä muu on käyttää. Öö, jotain 13 sekuntia vielä. Eli ekana me mennään tonne. And I can speak English again. Very cool. So, the only thing that I need to do now is go into the abyss, find the stone tablet fragments, and yeah. So I'm guessing the ne ending I can, or the endings I can get are go into the abyss, go to the flower to purify and see what happens, go to the abyss, and then you have the other, which is go to the abyss, go do the ancient magic way back here and then go do the f the flower okay thresh chain job thank you for the follow what the fuck thresh is that yumi ace which one of you is that i'm guessing that's ace i'm gonna go through this entrance first Shadow? Wait, shadow scale? Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, wait, what's over here? Wait, there's something. Oh, hello. No! I dashed too far. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Hello. I guess I'm gonna go back to level up now. <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. I followed Katie with this name last night and it was hilarious. What did she say? Do you have a clip? One day I'll make a fake account and you won't see it coming. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm totally not gonna recognize the brand new account who followed me and then immediately hit me with the uh, 1000 bits or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still need to level up my Umbral Knight to the f fullest, so I think I... Hold on, let me tr test out if I can replace Umbral Knight with something else. Like, is this a good attack? That's the wrong set of skills. Wow, that's pretty fucking shit. I mean, the range is nice, but I don't need the range. Unfortunately, I forgot to clip it, but she went, Thanks for the follow, Threshes. Oh my god, guys, stop! <laughs> nice. Then you have Ulv, which is kind of awkward to use, because standing still, you do it slow. But if you move, it's super quick. Kind of interesting. One of her mods made an account called Ari's Tail Job. Okay. Wait, can I like... You can kind of do like a combo on a fat guy, if you... <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I want to level up Ulv, he's kind of awkward. I mean, he might level up into something nice, but I don't know. Garrod... Fuck it, I'll... Ulv does fucking mad damage. I'll try and see if it does me any good. I was inspired. It was between this and Volibear's paw job. Hmm. Nami's fish job. Nami's fin job. Everybody ganks it till you get flayed by Camille's foot job. Hello, cheese. I'm just gonna skip past most of these guys for now. Oh yeah, the music in this area is weird. Why isn't it homing? Die! What? I missed? How does this work? Oh, it spawns on the ground in front of me. Doesn't work like how I imagined it to. Pretty cringe. Oh, I just die. Jesus Christ. Oh, is that secret up here? Maybe on the other side? No? Maybe it's somewhere fo more to the left or something. Ow. The enemies hurt me. What is the super of this? Okay. Okay. It's like a AoE thing. Cool. Mm. This music is like... I mean, I, I guess I get the purpose of the music, but... I mean... I feel like it could be more interesting. 
Maybe it'll ramp up soon. I hope so. Because I mean, usually levels like this are... Okay. What? That hit me. Okay, I guess I just die that easily. Jesus Christ. I need to be careful. Oh my god. Wait, do I still have my fucking jump thing? I don't need it. Hold on. Yeah, I still have the jump enhancing thing. I don't need this shit. Go away. Uh, SP gauge, I don't care. No. Hastens to healing prayer. No, I don't care about that. Cooldown times, no. Spirit uses, no. Recover some health when you de defeat an enemy. I don't think I want that either. Recover health when you deal damage. I mean, that's interesting, but I kind of like damage more than anything. They recorded this with people speaking. Hmm. I mean... You'd think that, considering that the music dev, or the music team of this game is, uh... The ones who did the, like, opening to Goblin Slayer and shit, you'd think that they would, like... Do something a little bit, like... Not that. Well, what do I know? I'm just a guy playing a game. Ow! My health bar. What is my super? Go! Oh, it's just... I'm guessing that's pretty much like an instant kill if it hits. Look at the fucking damage! Oh, I deflected that. Suck my ass. Was that an elephant? Did I just hear an elephant in the song? It's a person. Fucking hell. Wait, just... Wait. Something in the water. I think there's something up here. Oy. Hey, clockwork. There has to be... Is it in the water? Is the loot in the water? Probably. Ow! There's so many of these red flowers everywhere. Why couldn't I have streamed like an hour earlier? An hour later? Um, because I wanted to stream now. Oi, tapa. Stop it. Oh, I didn't have a dash, so I could dodge in the air. Oh, I'm out of healing. Hmm. Oh, hello. A hundred furious blight. Wonderful. Hold on, I, I kind of want to... Don't want to dash through everything. I want to try and see if there's anything interesting in the background, because I... I kind of skim went past this, and it looked like something, but... Maybe I'm just imagining. Maybe. Die! Wait, hey, bitch.
There's no more loot in this area, so I don't think I should try and uh, explore. I should just try and focus on living. Reach every respite. Ah! I just need to fall down from there. Okay. Read. Fretia's memoirs. I want to see the sky, the magnificent blue sky. I had lost hope in ever drawing again, and yet my left hand brings hope. If I can tame it to write, maybe. Oh, to be spirited away by some kind of soul, even for a brief respite. Fretia's will. Obtain findings 24 to 28. Okay. Oh, look at this place. Wait, are those buildings? What? I mean, these are like some sorts of stone structures and then... You can see like a little shack there. What the hell? Read. Silva's blight-stained note. The research in the verboten domain was meant to find a cure for the white priestess of the fount. But instead they chose to carry out grotesque experiments on live human subjects. The white priestess has no heir, so they dare to try create their own. The mages who carry out these experiments, the king and chief guardian who approve them, they've all gone mad. Just what do they intend to do with these er ersatz priestesses? Will they replace the white priestesses with one of these abomina- Will they replace the white priestess with one of these abominations? Ersatz? Ersatz. Made or used as a substitute, typically an inferior one. Not real or genuine. So, fake. It's a- It's a funny way of saying fake. Oh, here's the, uh, her painting corner, I guess. White priestess's earrings increase the maximum number of uses for the healing prayer by one. Earrings worn by the white priestess of the fount bestowed as a gift from the prior priestess. She became the white priestess on the day of her 14th birthday. I think I'm gonna... Two slots. This goes away, and I'm gonna actually do that. When I do damage, I heal. Wait, there's something more in here? What? What more can I... Loot. I'll check the left side first. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's nothing here. What about the right side? Oh. Oh, hello. Plus five max health. Refurbishment? Attain maximum health. Oh. The music sounds like Heilung. I have no idea what Heilung is. There's something more in here. Where? Maybe I can jump through the ground somewhere? Also, I didn't notice, but the flowers that weren't budding earlier are now in full bloom. There has to be something on the... Where would... I don't like the fact that you call me that, but hello, Ace.
where do I find item? Where? Ah, whatever, I'm moving on. I'll come back. Oh. Boss time. I feel like stunning the boss multiple times is insane, so I'm gonna use that. Maybe this? And, uh... How about another SP gauge? Actually, no. That's kind of unnecessary, I think. Max health damage? I don't care for that. Potency? And is there anything one slot that could be of use? Hmm. It's a white priestess. At long last. The white priestess of the fount. Oh. Coming here was pointless. Flee. Be rid of this place. It's too late for me. Hmm? So this is the body of the white priestess who was... Oh, hello, you're big. Well then. to heal there. Yeah, the ads can actually, like, fuck off.
And that's the Blight Lord dead, I suppose. Hmm. Menacing design, but really nothing happened. It was just kind of an add-on fight where every 10 seconds she would do an attack that deals a, th a fifth of my health. <laughs> kind of a kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Yeah, you are correct, Dalton. He was... Yeah. Stop. Come no further. Or you too will be consumed by my blight. Oh? My skin has turned black with blight. Dark with blight? I guess that's more fitting. Surely your path took you past those flowers. The awful rain of death, darkening the skies of land's end. Thriving on the rain, they blossom off my blighted body, the root of the scourge. I can feel the blight surging through my body. If only I had control over its spread, then I could stop it at the source. Perhaps a day will come when I can hold the blight without it seeping out. Not that it matters anymore. I wish the world didn't require that you bear the burden of the blight. You're the only, only clone of myself left. Lily, even, know, even knowing what you do now, do you wish to remain with the priestess of the fount? Will you bear the blight? Together? No. The suffering is mine to bear and mine alone. So Lily's giving herself up to stop the spreading of the scourge, or at least slow it down. Please, don't let this be your fate. Please. And that's that then. The bad ending, I guess. Or, no, that's like the, uh... I guess for the character, the main character, Lily, it's the bad ending. But I think for the like the rest of the the world, the land, I don't know, it's better. Because in the other ending, Lily ran away from her duties pretty much and left it to die to the blight. But in this one, you're holding it back by sacrificing yourself. I gave it my home. Isn't it supposed to be sunny? You have to be wearing the necklace that protects from the blight. It's three endings. I know. Alton, do you not remember when I said that there's an ending to... You don't really know if you prevented the blight of spreading. Whatever. I kind of want to skip, but I guess I'll listen to it. For the rest of the world, there is no more priestess, and the blood is still there, just lessened for a little bit. I don't know. If, uh, maybe there's some sort of lore explanation. Like what happens in that ending exactly.
myself, reaching my goals, distracting my feet. Yeah, I, I, I get what is gonna happen in the good ending. I'm still my insatiable self. The good ending is gonna be that Lily purifies everything and the blight is no longer there, and she ends up being completely purified herself or something like that. But I wonder where the final tablet fragment is in that final respite room. Yeah, and this ending is kind of a Dark Souls ending. The world is left on a cliff. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Camu. Ending B. She whispers from the abyss, Being as one, we shall never be apart. Hmm. And now we go and get the, uh, the final ending. But I'm wondering where the tablet fragment is. Okay, I'm gonna put on a bunch of XP gain. This, this, and I think that's all of the XP gain shit. Is there something more for damage? I I don't think I do aerial attacks that much. Hmm. I'll, uh... I'll do this so I don't need to rest that much. Or actually, no, I don't think I need that even. <sighs> Whatever, I'll just keep it. Hmm. Where do I find the final, or the... Last two ending or ancient souls. Where do I find them? Where's the tablet fragment? Can I break something here? Like, do I need to break the bench? Do I need to break. Like, is the answer to just like fucking hammer down? I don't know. What is my purpose? I mean, th these are the only two rooms in the entire game that are... Oh, I have forgot- I forgot that area. True. I guess it's over there. But there's something in this room as well. So, I mean... Yeah. I guess the tablet fragments are here, but... I'm, like, wondering what's, uh, over there. Oh, you have the blight water here. Hold on, I need to go back and put on poison resistance. <laughs> God damn it. I assume with the pillars you take the tablet there. No, you take the tablet back to the beginning of the game. Nothing in the water, nothing up there. I'll move here. Holy shit, this... This poison hurts! God damn, look at my health! I can't destroy that. Not with that either. I'll just run past it. That's all of the loot in this area. I can just run past everything now. 
Run. Holy shit. Okay, I need a bunch of fucking healing. That's like fucking poison to the extreme. Oh my god. Okay, I need to put on a bunch of healing stuff. I just... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. There. I don't need damage in that area. Uh... This is from enemies. I don't need damage reduction. Do I have any more? I mean, I guess I can put on that and then aquatic speed. There we go. Now we go. Six healing prayers. Healing buffs. Movement speed. I have everything. Go, 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 gadget. Go, go, gadget. Oh? Oh? I got... What is that achievement? Visitant. A journey to all maps. Read. The Deathless Pact. This is the pact that the Umbral Knight made. Only high-ranking priestesses are permitted to perform the necromantic rites that entreat the souls of the dead. A warrior of the ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priestess, in turn becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues down the family line through the generations until the bloodline comes to an end. The ancient warrior shall remain immortal so long as the pact continues. Expose. Expose. Obtain all findings. Pick up stone tablet fragment. There is one of our warriors consumed by the blight. Oh, it's one of the, uh... Purify. This is the final ancient souls, I'm assuming. Oh, wait. We were the last ones left alive. An undying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. And the hour of death has come for my priestess and I. My eyes grow dim. Soon, only our decaying corpses will remain. Ferin, Eldred, is... Bape? Is that the Umbral Knight holding on to... Lily? The battle is lost, our homeland stripped bare. What fate away? Oh, hatred is the vilest blight, unaffected by purification. It festers, rotting one from within. Listen well, Ferin, last of the Undying Warriors. The bond of the Deathless Pact will pass on to a new priestess. That's me. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. Be the guardian of the last priestess. Of our ancient society. Ancient soul too? Hmm.
Rest in peace, my brother in arms. I lost a priestess that I was meant to protect long ago and have been imprisoned here ever since. Then I met you, the carrier of her ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. By my own hands I would end it. But as we traveled together, I came to a realization. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago, but I'm still meant to protect her. You are the last hope of the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the found. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. I wish and people long since consumed by the blight. Well then. There's only that area left. And... Yep, all of the stone tablet fragments have been collected. Wait, what is... Enter. Oh, it took me back up here. Yeah, that was kind of anticlimactic, but whatever. Okay, all of this shit can leave now. I don't need this. XP gain. Uh... Eh, whatever. Actually, I don't even need to set up for, um... Actually, no, I should set up for exploration, because I need to go level myself up to 99. And back to the beginning I go. Why? I want the achievement. That's why. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I go and do the cinematic shit of that place, I'm gonna go to a high-level dairy and uh, kill some fuckers. What would be the easiest place to level up? The castle, I think. Because, like, over here, the enemies are fuckers. But in the castle, they're abundant. Like, somewhere around here, maybe. Level up the night. Oh, yeah. I can get rid of fucking Ulv now. Fuck you, Ulv. Stupid Ulv. Secret. Fully enhanced the Umbral Knight. Oh, wait, there's no enemies inside of there. Aha, here they are, though. Oh, wait, damn, it died to two hits. Or three, two. Hmm. One hit. Nice damage, Umbral Knight. Good damage. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay. He does a little flip. I wonder why the music at the end of the game is like kind of boring compared to at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game had like the uh, the town music, 
the fucking big, the starting dungeon of the game music. Uh, which place, which is thicket or something like that was called. And this one is kind of just. I mean, it sounds nice, but it's like not very interesting to listen to. And yeah, this. Where can I level up more? <laughs> this kind of ass. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not leveling up in the castle. That is fucking awful. Probably because they had to quicken development. Hmm. Maybe I just have to go in, into the abyss to level up. Like I just go from here and level up above me. One combo kills. Okay. Ow. Not in the air, though. XP gain is a lot better here. Oi! Don't kill me, man! Don't kill me! from the castle gives me w is from one here damn 10 time xp gained poggers bro three more levels to go or is it to level wait is it level 100 or level level 100 so four more And the enemies in this area, like... <sighs> it's just sad how they had to quicken development. Or if they even had to do that, because like... This area, imagine the possibilities of having like... The most blight infested area in the game when you've seen like... Some of the crazy shit that was in the town, the fucking... Big bloated guys and so on. Uh, the centaur people who were combined with their horses and shit like that. The gargoyles in the castle. Uh, it's a sad. <laughs> the people that financed the game wanted the game finished quick. I mean, the game is nice, but it could have been so much better. <laughs> it could have been so much better, man. <laughs> Instead, have this gasp in the background. <laughs> it do be what it do be. Hey, yo, fuck you, man. 
Yeah, that shit does way more damage than fucking Ulv. Maybe they'll make deals in the future re-adding content to the game? Yeah, like, free content updates after they've sold enough. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Kind of like what Blasphemous did, where it was like, uh, Blasphemous released a bit earlier than they intended. Some areas weren't polished. And after the game was finished, they made the first DLC like four months after, I think. Or wait, not, not... When was the first DLC made where they added the... All of the skull people and the, uh, the brass horn person and the, uh, like, just texture updates in some areas. Hmm. I hope they do something like that with this game. Would be sick. Die. And now I go back and do that again, until I'm level 100. Let's go. The, I guess this is like, repercussions for skipping so many enemies. Before, but, eh, whatever. Hey, outcast. Like, I could, like, already imagine, like, this area having some, uh, like, m maybe even combinations of the already blighted enemies, like, maybe these guys would be combined with some of the, uh, these crazy fuckers, you know? Uh. Maybe some root enemies, the blighted roots would attack you, I don't know. Is there an enemy down here? No, it's just blight. Okay, I did the super to avoid damage there. Instead, we get floating eyeball monsters. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Some game publishers just have no... No patience, I tell you. Capitalism, I tell you. Yeehaw, brother. I missed. No, I didn't. Nice. We're almost there.
Almost there. Yeah. A masterpiece can raise the brand. Yeah. Fucking okay, imagine if this game would be like they they could have improved on so much. Some of the animations aren't that fluid, I feel. Like they're a bit jank. Like the double jump. Like the the icon for the double jump is Guardian's Leap, the, the bone wings at the beginning of the game. It's a platform. It, it, it's a platform that you jump on. No even funny animation of the bone wings or anything like that. The, uh, the belly flop dodge at the beginning of the game was pretty funny though. They could have like worked on how the uh, combat works as well. So that you could like summon multiple of them at the same time. Because like... The combat of the game was supposed to be you summon these guys to fight for you. But in the... But because of how they dealt with the combat, it's just... You use different looking people to do your attacks. Instead of like actually summoning them to attack for you. Like, you could, like, have ca some characters that you would set up beforehand, there would be, like, a sentry or something. I mean, there's two sentries, I think, in the game. The dog and the crow, but... They're, like, pretty boring. Level 99. I feel like this game, like if they, did they do a Kickstarter? If they didn't do a Kickstarter, imagine how much support they would have gotten for this game. Cause like Crowsworn, which is like a game that looks very much like Hollow Knight, got a hundred thousand when they're, uh, like they only wanted 30,000. Imagine how much this game would have gotten and like all of that funding that they could have put into the game. Imagine the possibilities. Yeah, it had early access, but that's like not really the same thing. At least not in my opinion. Kinda is, kinda isn't. Are we there? No! Look at look at the fucking XP! <laughs> look at it! Uh Go kill the very... F okay, I'm gonna level up off of the very first enemies in the game. Blighted Heart was the name of this. We go. I never played Mass Effect, so I can't, like, say anything about that, but I do know that people were disappointed with the ending. Struggling to get level 16, I see. <laughs> Shut. 
I actually leveled off with the fucking first enemy. <laughs> well, some of the first enemies ruined one. Yeah, reach level 100. And now we go back. Hey. Wait, that enemy actually did... I'm sorry, how much damage is that? Nine. I heal 24 off of hit, kill, attacking it. Disappointed in the ending is an understatement. It was a crime. Oof. This is where the game began, and we are back now. And here it is. I can interact with it now. Restore power to the lost amulet. Perhaps performing an ancient, perhaps performing the ancient spell here, will unfetter the protective power of the white priestess within your amulet. I'll decipher the stone tablet that we've pieced together. That's the symbol on the head of the Lily. Well, that isn't, but the icon that flashed in the whatever. Luminant Aegis Curio protects from the pain of purification. An amulet whose form and power were restored by Fedent's magic. The ancients crafted it long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. The power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blight during a priestess's purification ritual. With any luck, it will ease the burden purification has placed on you. Rebirth achievement. Uh... Wait, that's... Okay, I still have to. Restore the power to the lost amulet. Two more achievements in the game, apparently. Yeah, I, I need to go kill the ad boss again, I think. Okay, I, I'm thankful that it doesn't cost any uh, relic slots to use that. I go with hmm. I don't think I really need anything for the boss fight to be honest so I guess I'll just go with maximum health can I enhance anything I can enhance some one of these uh, lesser things I'll just go for some combat stuff now I don't like, neither of these really do that much damage, I think. Like, this was... I mean, this one did a little bit of damage, but they're both in champion. It's kind of whatever, I think. Can I replace it with... Maybe I could go for this instead. Fallen Sentinel. Because I remember this did, like, a good amount of damage. But it's a bit awkward to hit. Hmm. I'll try it out. Why not? Like, why is there something I can pick up here? It says there's something in this room that I can get. What is it? 
Like, <laughs> uh, oh no, what did you link earlier, Alton? Maybe it'll help me. The guide. Here, found it. The abyss. Wait, why is the thing broken? Okay, I need to open it in another tab. A flower? Is it behind a pillar? I need to like sneak pat like move like this in order to find it where is it huh how do I find it it's not there like hold on let me let me show Okay, so this is where I am, yes? Wait, look, you see? It says that it's right there. I collected the earrings from the left, the almond fragments from the top, and then you have the item there. Why can't I get it? Wait, it's, there's also something up there, but what the fuck is that? It's a flower up there. Okay, hold on. Confusion! Nothing here. What do I? Eh? Eh? Get the true ending. What? You get the... I need to beat... I need to beat the game now and then I get the item. That's a cut. That's interesting. Interesting how I get the item after beating the game. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey there. At long last. Is there a new dialogue? I don't think there is. There's a, uh, a DPS check if I've ever seen one.
Oh, this is an exciting boss fight. I saw this already. Oh wait, no, it's not the cutscene. Yeah, still the true Blight Lord left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? Or of the white priestesses that I have found. What the fuck? Oh, there apparently is a true form. What? Oi, oi, oi. I thought you were making a joke. I don't think I ever pointed it out. Oh my god, wait. I got one shot. <laughs> no, I need to do that fucking DPS check again. You're fucking kidding. Oh my, I wasn't expecting that fucking phase, so I didn't take it seriously. You're fucking joking. That's awful. That is absolutely awful. Okay, I fucking had it with you, add-on. Cancer, fuck. And now you're gonna run into me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's real fun. Bastard. She cancelled my hit. My fucking super was cancelled.
Aha, Suomea vai? Okei, okay. no, tee mitä haluut. Hm. Ehkä vaan tehdään vaan tälle. <hihihi> Hei, nyt. Mene tänne vaan. Ui, saatana. Projektireita niin saatanasti. Pitää olla varovaisempi tällä kertaa. Millä mä haluan kuolla si... Ai saatana mun HP. Saatana mun HP, lopeta. Lopeta. Ei oo kiva. Ai saatana. No 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 no. What the fuck was that? Damage! Oh, what is he- what is he doing? What is she doing? The add-ons are fucking running away from me. Jesus Christ is dead. <sighs> Fucking DPS track bastard. Purify. Hmm. Even in death, her hair is mostly white. Hmm. I guess. A third form incoming. It was as if I'd been in an eternal slumber. Unsure if I was alive or dead. The days were filled with nothing but pain. When I awoke, I lay on a black pedestal. I felt a warm touch grace me. The tiny white priestesses were holding my hands. The same priestesses who were made to take on my blight. From nearby I could barely make out the voices of coven members. The blight transfer rite was about to begin. The priestesses, knowing nothing of their fate, nuzzled up to me. These children would be sacrificed to keep me alive. What was it all for? The time I spent with them was what truly saved me. If I am to pass on a legacy to these children, let it be one of hope, not suffering. But 
how? How is this happening? Could one white priestess alone have such power? No, that amulet. You made a toll again? All the fragments, all the shadows of our history, the unknowable suffering. Are you going to bear it all from now on? I see. You came all this way with everyone. Thank you. For freeing us all. For freeing me. You accomplished what I couldn't. You're never just a clone of myself. You're your own person, Lily. You've grown so much. It's time I should be leaving. I'll be watching over you. So, the white priestess of the Fount... She didn't conceive the children. They were the... Other white priestesses were cloned? Hmm. We'll always be together. Oh? The rain stopped. Mm. That could have been a really good wallpaper shot of the uh, that wide wide shot just now. I'm gonna open up my window. Hold on. Well done. Uh, a bug immediately came. I didn't get it. Did I? Bastard. The girl became a cat and started walking around dimensions with the knight who became a book. You should be crucified. Oh. I gave it my all, isn't it? Supposed to be sunny now, but my rain won't stop. My rain hmm. won't stop. The hell I saw, voices I heard, the dreams that I lost changed. Now Self, robo self, setting my hair on fire, giving you warmth, hoping you realize I want you by my The lyrics are the same for this one, but the background piano, I think, is like in minor. I don't fucking, I don't know music, but it's it sounds much brighter than the bad ending piano. And you also have the cello in the background. If I knew the lyrics, I guess I could find some meaning in the lyrics, but I'm not really listening to the lyrics right now. Okay, after listening to that so the lyrics a little bit, I think it was something about the uh, the white priests singing about um what it's better to be ignorant than to have liberty and to know that there is no place for you in this world. 
Oof. That's sad. Oh, that's a bit rough. It is done. At long last, for each a proper burial. Lily, take heart. You are not alone. The blight may have taken them, but they are still with us, and I will never leave your side. Amidst a collapsed world, her words echo out. Thank you for finding your way to me. And your Lily's ending. And that's the true ending then. Oh look, the background is nice now. <laughs> Pretty similar to a uh, Hollow Knight with the uh, depending on what ending you have, it will change the background. Why the sea highlighted? The sea was highlighted to showcase what ending it was. Well, I'm gonna go pick up the loot now. I wonder why you can get loot after the game is over. Pick up lost heirloom. Allows the recollection of one's unblighted form. A hair ornament made from a pale flower, received from the white priestess of the fount. After the blight immobilized her, the priestess of the fount gifted these handmade or ornaments as blessings to the other priestesses in her stead. And that's all of the achievements as well. And now she's, uh, pure. Hmm. I'm just going real quick. Go into this area, because the rain in this area is great. And I think this, the music in this area is one of the best in the, uh, in the game. I'll just leave it to, uh, hold on, let me change the, uh, spirits. I'll do it like that, so they next sit there, and you guys get to listen to the music as well. I'll go get something to drink. I return. So, now that I've returned, I guess I'll give my final consensus of the game or something like that. So, uh... Hmm. I mean... The start of the game, I think, is actually one of the strong suits of the game. Like, the, uh, the very first, like, 30 minutes are, like, the, uh, the best part of the game, almost. And, uh, I mean, you start out with the beginning cutscene, where it showcases Lily sleeping and then the symbol on her forehead. And then you're woken up by the, uh, the voice of the Umbral Knight, who then tells you that He's pretty much here to protect you. And, uh... 
You then progress on in the, uh, in the dungeon of the beginning of the game. And, uh... You know, see these ruined enemies everywhere? And the, uh, weird blob enemies as well. And you just have the, uh... The kind of sad... Not sad? More like tragic sounding, uh, piano in the dungeon. And then you, um... Y like, you could also find the statue at the beginning. That also implied that the existence of other white priestesses. Or at least the white priestesses that found. And it, like, kind of... Gave you that feeling that there's more to find, more to learn about. And, uh... I mean, hmm. I guess I don't have any other strong suit to talk about. The music in most of the areas was good, or most. Uh, hmm. Some characters weren't fully fleshed out, like the uh, the mage. I mean, I guess it kind of like showcased that she was making the relic for, was it Sigrid? I don't remember much. Um, there's also that other guardian of the sanctuary in the catacombs who was apparently a friend, lover to Sigrid in the beginning. I don't know. I don't remember much. Mm. Story-wise, it's like, it's alright, I guess. Hmm. There wasn't too much to it. And then, the combat of the game, I mean, there was so much they could have got done. Like earlier, I talked about the uh, the summoning thing being kind of lame. About how it didn't actually feel like you were summoning them. It kind of felt like I was just attacking normally. Like, there are some that I would summon out, like the crow and the dog, but they're pretty lame. And, uh... The enemies kind of all acted in the same manner. Like, uh, surprisingly, the most interesting enemy was the flesh pile in the poison area and, uh, how you needed to time your dodge to dodge the tentacle slap. It could make the poison, so you need to adjust where you're standing and stuff like that. But then you just had enemies which was walk up to them, dash behind them, they turned around, dash behind them again, and you kind of repeat that. But then there were the flying enemies in, uh, in the castle, which were interesting because they would do like a hidden run and you need to uh, bait out an attack and then hit them back. The dragons were kind of whatever because it felt like they were undodgeable and you kind of needed to just DPS check them. The centaur enemies were all designed because you needed to dodge the uh, initial charge, I guess, and then the bow. Boss fights. Ulv was the best boss fight in the game. I think the second best boss fight was the, um... Whatever the heretic is hugging now the head of the giant monster in... Next to the abyss. The final boss was pretty much a letdown. Like, design-wise, it was like... Big creature, haha. Hmm... Then you also had the prince, who had the lance, and he was kind of whatever as well. I don't remember that boss fight. I remember that I took a bunch of hits, but nothing really mattered, because I wasn't punished for actually, like, taking hits that much. Because, like, everything does so little damage in boss fights. Hmm. Hmm. What else? I guess, design-wise, like... I mean... The game is pretty. Like, you have this area, where you have, like... You have the foreground, where you have these... This stuff in the way. I, I guess it's kind of whatever, but the background is very nice. 
And just the fe general feeling of the game is very nice as well. Because if I like turn up the volume... And uh, turn off the HUD. I mean like, come on. Come on. There is prettier games. I mean, yeah, but it's still nice to look at. It's not about comparing it to other games. It's about just... Kind of like seeing the game on its own. Mm. Well, if I could quickly go to another area. Just, like, have another look at the rest of the areas in the game. Because... Honestly, I think that the Witch's Thicket was maybe the best designed area in the entire game. Because, like, you had this castle, which was the King's Castle. And it was, uh... I mean, I don't even know the difference between that and this second spire over here, to be honest. I don't it's kind of whatever. But like when you go to the witches area, it's like, come on, <laughs> it's the best looking area in the game. Some of the best, I think maybe the best soundtrack in the game as well, or best song in the game rather. Cause you, it's like weird. Like you get that weird, I mean, it's, it's just weird and mysterious and Kind of like, uh, funky at the same time. But once again, the enemy variety is just kind of sad. You have two different mushroom answers. You have the fish people, and then you have the plant ladies. Like, no- And there is also the, uh, the plant thresher things. I don't know. Yeah, these guys. Which I guess are like alright, but yeah. I wish there would be like waddling giant mushrooms that would like spew out poison next to them or something. And then you also had the uh, the water found. What would you call them? The uh, the giant water fountains, the water wall. I don't know, the, the gravity r rep fucking anti-gravity waterfalls in the area were also nice. Not too many puzzles with them though, or much platforming at all, which was kind of sad. Mm. Let me just take a look at the map, so I don't take up too much time just looking over the stuff. The catacombs. I mean, entering the catacombs was exciting because, like, I mean, there's so much that can happen in a, it, like, enemy design wise in catacombs. Just like, you can have a lot of, I don't know what you would call it, just a lot of stuff you can have happen there. And you had the weird spider enemies. I, I, wait, is that, is that all there was? Was there just spiders and bowmen? Was it literally just bowmen? Bowmen and spiders. Oh, I guess there are also the exploding guys. These were from the beginning of the game, those slugs. So I don't really care about them. Projectile spiders and then you had melee spiders. These guys are also from the very beginning of the game, so I'm not going to count them. Mm. The background is kind of boring because it's like... ...pasted all over again. You had those open areas, but even they were kind of whatever. This was a room of a white priestess, which is why it looks a bit different. But I mean, even so, it doesn't look much like a room. The 
the music is, uh... I don't know if it's too fitting of catacombs, but... I mean, whatever. You had the prison area. It had water. It had wardens that would teleport behind you. And it had the ninja. The ninja was a boring fight. You spawned add-ons and flew around just constantly trying to evade you. And, uh... I don't think there's too much noteworthy there. I like the idea of the different prison cells, but, I mean, there isn't much there. Mm. I like the mountain. The mountain was kind of nice to look at, but, I mean, once again, not much going on there. Now, the poison area. It wasn't that much fun to traverse around just because of how much you needed to avoid everything. But I mean, it's underwater, like, just sea life on, I mean, human exp experiments and shit. Experimentation on, uh, on the blight and stuff like that. Along with some uh, funky, funky coral and stuff like that. Yeah, it was also not very well, like, shown that you need to go into the poison in order to progress. Uh, it, it was kind of a guess, like, uh, do I need to go here? But I mean, there was no other option at that point. And I spent a lot of time wondering where I need to go. Because I didn't know that I was supposed to go in there. And... Once again, the music is just kind of boring. I like the design of these guys because they're like... Once again, experimented on. And just kind of interesting to look at, I guess. You had that weird projectile spawning guy, and then you had this rampaging one, which I like more than the projectile one. Just due to the fact that, you know, the, the looks are fitting of what the attacks are of the enemy. Because I get, it's just gonna do like a. Hold on. If you could stop doing that, sure you can. That. Wish it was quicker though. Just like a mad dash in your face and swipe a bunch. Progression. I was getting lost a lot. I mean. Hmm. Yeah, the game didn't very well, like, show me where I can go. Because, like, there are so many branching paths that, like, didn't lead to anywhere special. I don't remember much, though, but I do remember that I kept going back and forth and back and forth until I fi figured out that, oh, I can, oh, I, I can just go there by doing this funny thing and stuff like that. Because, like, Metroidvanias, you know, you explore yourself and find out where you need to go, but... Even they are a little bit linear. Yeah, map pins. Like, there is nothing for me to uh, mark the map with and see where I would want to go. Or anything like that. One part of this stage, or the poison area, that I didn't like, though, is, um... Fucking... Hmm. Like the water. I didn't like the bottom part of the uh, poison area. Because like, it's kind of boring. I mean, the background design, I like how it gets progressively more fucked up the deeper you go. Because, like, I mean, look at the background. It's, it's giant human organs everywhere. It's fun to look at. Fucking psychopath. Fun to look at the corpse, man. But I mean, it's just... Come on. It's just weird and gross and yeah like you look in the background there you see eyeballs rib cages spines nervous system blood vein or fucking blood vessels but once again the enemies are just kind of boring it's these leeches these weird bombs that don't exactly feel fitting but they're for, they're for obstacle pur purposes mm. 
And you, these elevators were also just kind of weird as well. I don't know why they're here. They just kind of are. Hmm. Is there any other area that I haven't really mentioned? I mean... The town, I guess? The town and then you had... Hold on. This area. Wait, is it this area? It's to my left. The area to my left. I mean, I don't think you can count it as an area. It's kind of like an... A hallway area? Like, you can tell in the background just that they gave more attention to detail at the beginning of the, like, the beginning areas of the game due to them not being rushed and them just being allowed to do stuff. Like, it's just more interesting to look at. There's like the mud area where you had the uh, the lost child that you uh, the slug child that you could kill the mini boss here I think the area to my left up well, there's also the area where you met the horse the music in this area was nice though too bad it was such a short area though for kind of no reason. I felt like they wanted to connect something above me as well, but they could never fulfill it, so it's kind of like left an opening there now. <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, I guess that's it then. The game was like... Hmm. I mean, I had fun playing the game. Just a very cozy time playing through the game. I, I don't think I have anything more to say about the game now then. That's it. What do I do now? One hundred percent of the achievements unlocked. Uninstall. <laughs> League, go away. <sighs> Horrible. Horrible. I should change the gondola. I've had this one for a long time. 